Sunday today and I usually do a coffee break video but today I'm going to do something a little bit different because I don't have masses to say um I'm still in my messy Sunday hair and all that stuff so it's still still a lazy Sunday um I recently um say last week I think it was talked about little notebooks that I keep with um notes about movies and such and I wanted to kind of delve into this one and kind of discuss it a little bit more today in this video. I thought it would be really interesting. Hang on, let me just move my legs up off the sofa. I, I'm in the living room and I always have a fear that like a sp spiders will run and get on my feet. So, I don't know. I don't like to put my bed, like, I've got no socks on, I don't like to put my feet on the floor. Anyway, this video has already taken a turn <laughs> on a different note. I'm also filming this on my um, kind of like vlogging camera just because it can film for a longer period of time. Whereas this camera can only film for 10 minutes at a time and then I have to rejig it so I always forget and it gets confusing so for longer videos well this long video I'm just gonna do for this well it may be long we don't know so be prepared this could be a long video I'm going to be talking about all the Monday movie hunt movies that I picked up so far this year in 2016 now I haven't got them all out I haven't got them all the pile because I thought that just they're just gonna get everywhere so I apologize there's no kind of visual aids for this um but i think at the end of the year when i do one i may just kind of gather, gather them all up um because this is going to be called money movie hunts 2016 brackets so far because obviously it is september and the year is not over and there's quite a few movies coming out at the end of the year that i am very very excited about now of course these are dvds and blu-rays that were released in 2016 so not all these are the movies that were released in 2016 but I've been looking through my book and like I've got 2015 here and in 2015 the basically I put a tick next to each movie each time I watch it and I write down each one I pick up on a Monday. The most watched movie I've watched 15 times for the 2015. To be fair some of that has been this year and I feel like I might have watched the movie more times but they're just, I've got 15 ticks next to a movie and that movie of course is Annie. I don't know why I've watched Annie so much, but I just have. I just love it. Um, and then a lot of the other movies have five ticks, four ticks, uh, three ticks, six ticks there, six ticks, five ticks. Again, so 2016, I was, uh, 2015, sorry, I was doing a lot of re-watching and I felt like I was really finding some movies that I just loved. Um, now 2016 I feel like hasn't been that great of a year yet. There's been some good movies, there's been some gems, I'd say I love that movie. But it's just not been, it's not been my favourite. I feel like even 2014 had movies that I just loved and could not stop watching. Um, 2016 for me, I feel like it's just not been, especially the, the, the beginning of 2016, which I will run through now. Um, so basically I'm going to go through each movie that I picked up this year, what a brief, what I thought of it, if I've watched it and how many times I've watched it. But I will also note that in 2014, I picked up on Mondays, 49 movies so you know 49 money movie hunts in 2014 in 2015 i picked up 77 um money movie hunt movies and so far in 2016 i picked up 72 so each year i obviously pick up more and more and more as i kind of expand my um my taste in movies i suppose um or maybe just more come out so i feel like if I would have picked up less, like kind of whittled out some, I thought, you know, I'll pick them up at a later date, etc, etc. Maybe there wouldn't have been as many that I'm kind of like, eh, on. But either way, let's get into the list. So, the first movie I picked up in 2016 was No Escape. And I literally just watched this last, this week, this week. Uh, I did talked about it on Friday Reviews. If you guys don't watch Friday Reviews, it's basically like a weekly what I've watched. But I find that people more enjoyed what I've watched than Friday Reviews, which is interesting because it is technically very much the same thing it's just that that's Friday reviews on a weekly basis anyway so no escape I've recently talked about so if you do watch my videos on a recent on a recent on a regular basis you will know that I enjoyed it I wish I would have just watched it sooner it took me so long to watch it I feel like I would re-watch it in the future but not anytime soon because it was a real on the edge of your seat movie now me and Earl the dying girl I've actually watched half of but in my little book it has no ticks next to it it basically looks like I haven't watched it but I have watched half of it uh, actually I think I nearly what I think I'm half an hour from the end and I watched that in January uh, obviously now I'm gonna have to rewatch the whole thing and I wasn't quite enjoying it so much so I do need to rewatch that one and obviously it has no ticks next to it so part of me 
which it matters to nobody. Nobody sees my little book except me. But part of me always looks at that and thinks, wish I just wish would have just finished that half an hour and then I could have put a tick, but alas, I didn't. Next one, Everest. One tick, one time watch so far. Um, I enjoyed Everest, but I was a little bit let down by it. I was a little bit disappointed. Um, it wasn't one that I was going to be in a rush to watch. And again, obviously I haven't because I did watch that in January. So yeah, I haven't watched that one again. Black or White, one tick. Um, I enjoyed this one. I think I would watch it again. It wasn't a fantastic movie. It was just an enjoyable movie. Um, I did watch it on my own as well. So maybe I'd rewatch it again with Josh. I think sometimes that's a good way of getting a rewatch in because I do like to rewatch movies I do enjoy it but I just felt this year I haven't done it as much so I feel like I'm kind of beating myself up about it I'm like why aren't I rewatching movies um but maybe it's because more movies are coming out I don't know um but yeah black or white watched it once Infin infinitely polar bear again watched it once and I enjoyed this movie I feel like I definitely would watch it again but at the time I thought you know what I'm gonna have to wait a while to watch it again but again it was January when I watched it so I thought the time's the time's coming around. I think before the end of the year, I probably would rewatch this one again. Um, Paper Planes, two watches, two ticks next to that one. The first time I watched it, I really quite enjoyed this movie. The second time I watched it, I was a little bit like, hmm, wasn't quite as good as the first time that I remember it. It wasn't one that once I watched it the second time, I wasn't dying to watch it again. Whereas, for example, well, okay, we use this for example, the little boy in Paper Planes. Is the same boy in Alexander the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day, which I have watched six times. And the second time I watched that, I just got into it more and more and more and wanted to watch it again and again and again. And again, obviously, I watched it six times. And I really enjoyed that movie. I don't love it, but it's great. It's fun. I could watch it a bunch. Paper Planes, however, I watched the second time and thought, hmm, wasn't as good as the first time I remember it. So again, maybe that's why I'm not into the rewatches. Macbeth. I have not watched it all. I've watched diddly squit of it. I've watched nothing because there's no ticks next to that. And I literally just have not watched that yet. The Walk, I've watched once. I watched it when it came out. And I did really, really, really enjoy it. Um, and I haven't seen it in 3D yet. I own the 3D. Um, so I think I'll be watching it in 3D kind of in the winter time when I do some 3D videos, uh, reviews on 3D. So I'm looking forward to watching that one again. Miss You Already, one tick. Um, I didn't love this movie. I don't know if I would re-watch it. I feel like maybe I would actually because I really was so on, I don't even think I gave it a rating. I was so on the fence about what I thought about it. Um, I think I watched it at a time when, I don't know, I, really, I do really want my mum to watch this movie because I really want to know her thoughts on it before I rewatch it because it's a movie that's supposed to, it's about friendship and it's about sorrows in life I suppose and it's about, and it's got Drew Barrymore and Tony Collette, both of which I love. And I just wasn't really for this movie and after I watched it I kind of just felt, ugh, I, I don't know why, but it still, it sticks in my head and so I do need to rewatch that one in the future. I definitely do want to, just for the fact that I want to straighten out my thoughts on it. Um, but yeah, I, it wasn't a movie that I loved. Uh, Irrational Man, one take, it's a Woody Allen movie. Um, it was it was good, it was good. I definitely want to watch it again. Um, Midnight in Paris is my favourite Woody Allen movie. It's actually one of my favourite movies ever I love that I could watch it day in day out um but I'd find that there's not many Woody Allen movies that I could watch repeatedly apart from that one but Irrational Man I will watch again in the future I did enjoy it but it's just kind of a movie that you're not it's not one you'd re-watch a lot it's kind of kind of a slow moving plot but it's, it's a good it's a good story I think I actually enjoyed that one probably more than Magic in the Moonlight which is interesting um because I thought I was gonna love Magic in the Moonlight but it was okay I enjoyed it but Irrational Man I thought was very interesting and I, I will watch it again um, the Martian is a brilliant film. I love that movie. It really was fantastic. I'd read the book, which now feels like forever ago because I must have read it in 2014. Um, so I read the book. I really enjoyed the book. Uh, I watched the movie. really enjoyed the movie. Matt Damon was great, which I was worried about because I'm not the biggest Matt Damon fan. Uh, I mean, I do like Matt Damon, but I, some movies, he's a bit hit or miss. Uh, the Martian, though, I loved it and I do need to watch it again. I just kind of wanted to put some space between the movie because it's <laughs> space that wasn't even supposed to be a pun um because it's, it's a movie that i feel like is is brilliant but you wouldn't watch it loads and loads and loads because it's a great it's a i don't know i don't know what i'm saying like interstellar i've watched it twice but i probably watched it once and then a year later watched it again so i kind of gave some you know time in between watching it again um and then i enjoyed it just as much so that's quite kind of like to do with kind of real big intense movies but yeah the martian i can't wait to rewatch that one Pan, 
watched it once. I have actually watched about another half an hour of it. I tried to rewatch it at one point and I just kind of wasn't feeling it. I don't know. Pan is a weird. I do really want to rewatch Pan, but I feel like I'm going to have to make myself do it. I feel like I'll, I'll even really get into Pan and I'll get watching it. And it's basically for me, the more times I watch a movie, the more I enjoy it. And I find it easy to watch the more times I watch it. Um, but Pan is going to be one of them ones I'm even going to watch it again and think, mm, that's just okay. Or watch it again and think, yeah, okay. I can watch that again. I wanted to love Pan. And I didn't love it as much as I wanted to. So I was a little bit disappointed. But the reviews were, for, were pretty bad. So I was like, mm. Hope of Transylvania 2. I, okay. I'll be really honest. I've got one tick next to it. I watched it in the cinema. Which is the only movie I've watched in the cinema this year. Uh, did I watch it this year? Was it last year? It was last year. Or was it the beginning of this year? I really don't know. I watched it in the cinema anyway. I think it was actually last year. Um, and I got a tick next to it for the cinema watch. And then we watched about half of it in 3D. But it was just kind of really late. And sometimes when I watched it in 3D late, I just couldn't... I just was finding it tricky. So I actually stopped watching it in 3D. And then I thought, oh, I'll come back to it. And then I just haven't re-watched the movie since. So I haven't actually watched the Blu-ray version I have. So that's disappointing in a way. Um, so I do need to watch that one again. Crimson Peak is the next movie. It's got one watch next to it. And I didn't really like this. I just thought, I was I was really looking forward to it. And I was just very disappointed. It wasn't really what I expected it to be. It wasn't really what I wanted it to be. So I, don't, I thought, as soon as I watched it, I thought, I'm not really going to watch that again. But I feel like maybe given some time between it, I might watch it again. And maybe I would reconsider it. Maybe I'd like it, maybe I'd appreciate it a bit more. Now I know what it is kind of more what it is. So I feel like I would, but it'd have to be quite a bit in the future. Because I was just kind of like, eh. A Walk in the Woods is one that I really did enjoy and I really wanted to watch again. Again, I watched this one on my own, so I need to re-watch it with Josh so we can watch it together. Um, but it was, it was a fun movie. I think I did a review on it. Or I talked about it at some point. Dark Places I recently watched, which I talked about in Friday Reviews. Um, I enjoyed this movie. It was good. It was obviously one of the Gillian Flynn um, booked movie adaptations. Gone Girl I've watched twice. This one... I don't know if I'd watch it again. I enjoyed it, it was good, but it's not one that I would be dying to watch again. But that's the case even in 2015 when I rewatched a bunch of movies. Some of them I just didn't watch again. Uh, for example, Boyhood, I loved, and I think it's a brilliant movie, and I have great memories of watching Boyhood. I haven't rewatched it again, but that was just because, to be fair, that's a different, that's a different thing. Boyhood really was brilliant. I haven't watched it again, but it was brilliant. Dark Places is a good movie. It's not brilliant. It's just it's a good movie. I enjoyed it, but I just haven't watched it again yet. Um, Bill, again, I enjoyed it. It was a good movie, but I won't watch it again in a in a rush. Same with kind of Dark Places. Now, the next movie is the movie that I have watched the most in 2016. So the 2016 release that I have got the most ticks next to, and it is The Intern, and I've got four ticks next to it. And I love the movie. Uh, I think it's brilliant. I could watch it again today. If someone said, do you want to watch The Intern? I'd say, yes, I watched The Intern. Uh, as soon as I watched it, I knew that I really, really loved it. Uh, and I didn't give it five stars. It's not, for me, it's not a five star movie. That isn't really what amounts to me wanting to watch things a lot. Um, but sometimes they grow on me. When I first watched Annie, it was not a five star movie. Over time, it grew to a five star movie. And uh, it's not, it's not, Annie isn't a five star movie, but to, for me it is. It grew and grew and I saw more into it and thought more. Anyway, but The Intern is a four and a half star movie for me. It's got some little problems, but I like it. I love The Intern. If you've not seen it, I recommend it. I'll talk about it at the end of the year. It's definitely one of my favourites of this year. Um, Suffragettes has no ticks next to it because I, again, watched half the movie and didn't finish it. I was enjoying it, but I just kind of, it was late. Oftentimes when I watch a movie it's quite late and I think, oh I'm so tired and I'm not concentrating and I'm not enjoying it as much as I would. And then I turn it off and think, oh, I'll watch it tomorrow. And then uh, I don't. So, so jets. I need It was quite recently, so I might just finish the end soon. Uh, because I definitely remember the beginnings, it wasn't that long ago. But I was enjoying it, it was interesting. Um, I, wasn't, I don't think I was that far in actually, maybe 40 minutes. Maybe. Brooklyn, one watch, one tick. Really enjoyed Brooklyn. Really want to rewatch it. I thought it was a great movie. I gave it five stars, so I, I need to rewatch that one. The Lady in the Van is another one that was a good movie, but I don't think I'd be in a rush to rewatch. Kind of goes in that category that's over here. Good movie, not in a rush to rewatch. The Last Witch Hunter, 
has no ticks next to it i've not watched it and that isn't quite true because i've watched half of it it's another one of them late night watches watch half of it don't finish it and now it's got no ticks it was one of them so I, need to, I, I was not quite enjoying it as much as I wanted to. It's kind of, I was a little bit confused. I don't know if that was because I was tired or if it was just a bit confusing. The next one is a movie that I'm really enjoying. That's The Dressmaker. And I've got two ticks next to that. And I'd watch that again, definitely. I really, really enjoy that movie. It's a great movie. Definitely an underrated movie as well. Um, Steve Jobs. I've got one tick next to it. And I don't know if I'd rewatch this movie. It's not really a movie that I feel the need to rewatch. It's more of a... Um, the movie was different than I expected to be. It was more of a, uh, like, him and his, um, well, obviously it's not really Steve Jobs, but the um, presentations of things. Or before the, not, I don't know. It was a weird movie. I enjoyed it, but I don't think I would rewatch it. Mockingjay Part 2. Now, Hunger Games I've watched a billion times. Catching Fire I've watched even more times. Catching Fire is literally one of my favourite movies. I love it. And Mockingjay Part 1 2 are ones that I feel like I never need to rewatch that much. Um, whereas the first two I really did and I've read all the books. I read Mockingjay before watching the movies. Mockingjay part one I've watched twice because um, I watched it once and then I watched it again before the new one came out just to have a refresh and then part two I've watched once. I enjoyed it. It was good but I'm not in a dying need to watch it which I think is weird because I love the series um, but I'm sure at some point I will I will rewatch it again and maybe I'll watch the whole series through because I haven't done that yet since part two's come out so the Good Dinosaur was so sad. It literally crushed me. I was so sad after I watched that movie. And I enjoyed the movie, but it was so sad. I just haven't rewatched it, so it's got one watch next to it. Um, I just found it really sad. I was really, really sad. So I will rewatch that in the future. And I do really want to have a think about that movie and how it. I don't know. I'm not sure what I think. I'm not 100% sure what I, th I enjoy it, but I'm not 100% sure what I think about it because it is very sad. Um, Bridge of Spies, I haven't watched yet and I really want to, it's nominated for the Oscars as well um, and I haven't watched that one yet. The Night Before is another one of those half watch movies, I watched an hour of it and then I clicked to see how long the movie was, I've got this little button on my remote it tells you how long the runtime is and I had an hour left and I was like ugh, I really, I wasn't quite enjoying the movie so maybe I didn't watch it at Christmas though, so now maybe when Christmas time comes up I'll watch that movie again. Grandma. Again, in the category of it was good, I enjoyed it, but not going to rewatch it anytime soon, so it's got one watch. Victor Frankenstein has one watch, and I did quite enjoy that, and I do think about it quite a bit, so I probably will rewatch that one, maybe before the end of the year. Star Wars The Force Awakens, I've watched twice, but I could easily watch it again today. I, I really enjoy it, I love it, it's definitely one of my favourites of um, this year. It obviously came out last year, but of the Blu-ray DVD releases, it's one of my favourites that I've watched this year. And um, yeah, the two times I watched it, I kind of watched it one after the other. And I really want to watch it again. Krampus, I think I'll rewatch at Christmas. I've only watched it once so far. It wasn't at Christmas. I think I'll rewatch it at Christmas. So, kind of looking forward to that one. Um, Sisters, I've watched once. And um, I feel like I would rewatch it. Uh, I definitely would rewatch it at some point. But I'm not in a big rush to that one. I kind of like at the time, I was like, oh yeah, this is fun. But now there's other movies come out that. Kind of fit that same genre that I want to rewatch sooner. Joy, I have not seen yet. So, uh, not at all. In the Heart of the Sea has one watch next to it, and I did really enjoy that one. And that is one that Josh always says, Can we rewatch In the Heart of the Sea? And he's not a big rewatcher, so uh, we probably will rewatch that one soon because he just always keeps wanting to rewatch that one. Uh, Daddy's Home has one tick next to it. I recently talked about it in Friday Reviews. And this was another one where I'd watched half an hour of it late went to sleep and didn't watch the rest and so then when i rewatched it i watched it from the beginning watched the whole thing and did quite enjoy that one the hateful eight i haven't watched yet room has one watch next to it room i thought was fantastic it's definitely one of the best movies i've seen this year um but it's not one that i feel like you could rewatch a lot i will rewatch it but the topic of the movie and the, the way the movie is isn't one you could rewatch a load of times i don't think uh, creed one watch, I would rewatch it again. I enjoyed it, but I definitely. Um, when did South South Pole came out the year before, and I feel like I want to rewatch that one again, a lot more than Creed. But The Big Short, one watch next to it. I enjoyed it. It was good, but again, in the category, it was actually very good. I really did enjoy it a lot. Uh, but it's in the category of it was good. I enjoyed it, but not gonna rewatch it soon. The Fifth Wave, however, has one tick next to it. 
I didn't enjoy it quite as much, but I feel like I could rewatch that one quite soon because um, it was just kind of an okay movie, but I want to kind of see, I want to get a bit more from it. I don't know. I feel like I could just rewatch that one again and be like, okay, we'll see how it goes. Um, Spotlight is another one. I watched half of the movie and I haven't finished it. The problem with Spotlight was I was so hyped up for it because obviously it won um, Best Picture at the Oscars, yada, yada, yada. And then I kind of felt a little bit disappointed. I was expecting something a little bit different. The cast I thought was brilliant. And I haven't finished it yet. So I need to re-watch that one. And just not even re-watch. And start again. And actually watch the movie. And then there'll be a tick next to that one. Goosebumps. Two ticks. Enjoy Goosebumps. I'd watch that one again. It's a good fun movie. I enjoyed it just as much the second time as the first time. The Snoopy movie. The Peanuts movie. Whatever you want to call it. Has one tick. I was a little bit let down by that one. So I don't know if I'll fully watch it, I'll probably will watch it again. Ride Along 2 has one tick, I watched Ride Along 1 twice, so I'll probably watch Ride Along 2 again soon. Our Brand is Crisis is a Sandra Bullock movie, I've got one tick next to it, but I did very much enjoy it. I didn't think it was a movie I was going to rewatch, but I think I will now. Oddball and the Penguins has one tick, and again, I probably will rewatch that one in the future, it's just a cutesy, easy, lazy Sunday movie. The Revenant has one tick. And I was a little bit let down by this movie. A lot of people like it, a lot of people loved it. I didn't like it that much. So I don't know if I'll rewatch that one. I'll see. Concussion has one tick. It was a good movie. I don't think I'd be in a rush to rewatch it again. It's kind of a deeper movie. So I feel like I just can't, I don't, I don't want to rewatch all the time. I kind of watch fluffy movies more on rewatch, but it was a good movie. Deadpool has one tick, but I really want to rewatch it soon. That's one on the top of my list to rewatch it soon. It was fun, it was funny. I want to watch it again. Point Break. I've not watched. The Finest Hours, I've not watched. Um, Dad's Army, I've watched once. And I would rewatch. it was fun, it was funny, I enjoyed it. Uh, Alvin and the Chipmunks, Road Chip, I've watched twice. I do quite enjoy the Alvin and the Chipmunks movies and I find them easy to rewatch. so. The third one, Chipwrecked, I've seen loads of times. Gem and the Holograms, I've watched twice. I enjoyed that movie even though no one else did. I could rewatch that one again, it's fun, I like the music. I enjoyed it. Trombo, I've not watched yet. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, I've got one watch, I watched, I talked about it in Friday Reviews this Friday. Now, How To Be Single, I've got one watch next to it and I really, really want to watch that one again. I might watch that again today. My mum's actually watched it twice and I've still only watched it once, but I'm really looking forward to re-watching that one. The Choice has one tick next to it and I felt like it was a little bit of a letdown for me on the Nicholas Sparks movies. Um, Safe Haven is probably my favourite, I've rewatched that movie probably 12 times, I love it. The Choice, I will rewatch it but I was a little bit let down by it. Kung Fu Panda 3 has one watch next to it and I'm going to watch it again in 3D in the winter so I'm looking forward to that. Get a Job has no ticks next to it because I watched half of it and I'm not really enjoying it at all but I want to finish it just to kind of have watched it but um. uh, 10 Cloverfield Lane, one tick but I really did enjoy that movie. I feel like uh, when enough time has passed I feel like I only just recently w watched it because it's quite near the end of the list now. Um, when enough time has passed I will re-watch that one. Zootropolis! Yay! You guys know I love that. I watched it twice. I definitely will be re-watching this one quite a lot. I really enjoy it. Um, it's a great Disney movie. One of my favourites of the past few years. Batman vs Superman. I've not seen it yet. My Big Fat Group Wedding 2. I've not seen it yet. And The Killing Joke. I've not seen it yet. <laughs> Midnight Special. I've not seen it yet. Eddie the Eagle. One watch. I enjoyed it. It was good. I would re-watch it. The Huntsman, Winter's War, one watch. Again, I want to rewatch this one. I might rewatch this one again today as well. I really enjoyed it. And not that many people did. I just I just enjoyed it a lot. Uh, the Jungle Book, two ticks. Loved it. I want to rewatch it again. I watched them kind of one after the other. Really enjoyed that. Um, Captain America, Civil War, one tick. That movie I loved. I did a review of it. I want to watch it again. I will watch it again very soon. Obviously, I've only just recently got it, so that's why I've only watched it once. But it will definitely have more ticks soon. And then finally, uh, for the 2016 Money Movie Hunts of this September, Florence Foster Jenkins has one tick. I feel like I wouldn't watch that one again in a hurry. Um, it'd have to be a while apart and then I'd rewatch it. But yeah, so those are the Monday Movie Hunt pickups I picked up in 2016. I'll wrap this video up now because I think it's pretty long. Um, and those are kind of what I've watched, what I've rewatched, my thoughts and what I want to watch again and things like that. Let me know down in the comments below if you keep a list. Actually, that was a whole other video, so let me know that in that video. Um, let me know down in the comments below what you've seen of this year's Blu-ray DVD releases. What were some of your favourites? 
Uh, this is my favourite. I love the Jungle Book, Zootropolis, um, The Intern. What else have I really, really loved? That's the thing, there's not as many that stand out that I've loved. Oh, Captain America Civil War, obviously. Um, but there's not that many that I've loved as much as I did last year. But still, there's more time. I'll do an updated version of this at the end of the year when Every Money Movie Hunt has come out. And we'll talk about it then. Until then, guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching this video. If you got to the end, well done for you. Thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, or if you are a newbie. And I'll see you then. Goodbye.